A game where they want me to break stuff? How perfect is this? Somehow I'm still only an amateur, so we've got to step up our game. I need to steal two classic cars and bring them here. While also stealing whatever treasure I can find along the way. Like spark plugs. This hammer breaks basically anything except metal. But this is where we let gravity take the wheel. A little bit of momentum will get you through pretty much anything. I could already squeeze through that, but it's just fun to break stuff. Plus, I suspect we've got one more door to go through before we're free again. So apparently the car is in there on this boat. So I'm kind of thinking we just bring the whole boat to where we need it to be. That's technically bringing the car there, right? I've spotted the truck. We just need to keep on going perfectly straight. We should land right where we need to be. And the game is lagging. It doesn't like this very much. But we're still moving inland. The car is getting closer and closer to where it needs to be. Also, I think the boat might be sinking for some reason. Okay, it didn't sink, but it's also not really in the proper spot. Luckily, I found a crane nearby that could probably fix this problem. Carefully. We don't want to put the crane in the water, but I gotta get it close enough. Is that gonna work if I swing it out? Oh, that might actually work. In hindsight, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I've made my choice. I've almost got it. Just gotta get it over the boat and on to dry land. Uh, something set up an alarm, and interestingly enough, I picked up the crate without the vehicle, so this probably is gonna need to restart. So, breaking an alarm box or wire triggers the alarm. But you can't expect me to read something before I try it. And, uh, I just noticed this. Don't know how big the explosion is going to be, but we'll find out eventually. Oh... Not as big as I'd hoped for, but I'll take that for now. Here's my new and improved idea, using everything we learned last time. I'm just going to back the boat right up to about here. Never mind, the wire I'm not supposed to break is actually attached to it in here, so if I was to drive it away, it would break the wire and call the alarm. So my next plan, once again, involves crashing the boat, but not quite as badly. That way I can use this little guy again, this time hopefully without breaking anything. I'm a genius. That's the only possible explanation for this. Now, can I drag it like this, or do I need to re-hook up to it? Okay, I think we're maybe just going to re-hook up to it. And we're going to grab it nice and low, that way hopefully it all stays sunny side up. See? Perfect. Now we can go high speed. And then because that is too valuable to break, let's use the forklift. To kind of gently coerce this thing into where it needs to go. Whoops, didn't mean to stab it. Okay, the forklift is the wrong tool for the job. I'm just breaking through the crate. And the bridge and everything. I'm just going to stop touching the forklift for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to drag it something like this. And hopefully this kind of works out somehow. I clearly know what I'm doing. Yay, that worked. Wait, what? Why does the alarm go off? I didn't break any wires, did I? Oh, because the car gets away from it anyway. Oh. Let's see what the other car has to offer us before we deal with that nightmare again. This one is also wired up. So do I have to break the wires like before I'm able to do this? I don't know, we'll just get the car nice and close for now. Vehicle condition dropped a little bit there, but it's a stolen car, they can't expect much. Before I get too far away, there's a second objective here. Apparently there's some spare parts I need. Over there. Dead are also rigged up to alarm, so it's a pretty good thing I went through that side of the building. Can we just knock- Yeah, that's- Yep. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, because I'm clearly overthinking this. We're going to very delicately get both cars very close to where they need to be. That way when the time comes, I can just drive them both right off the truck and into where they need to be. It's just tricky to get the boat one this close. Might end up taking out the bridge on this one, although that might actually work out pretty good. Getting it off the boat is always such an adventure, but I think if I just give it a little pull towards me, it'll come right off of there. Okay, little pull accomplished. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think this is going to work. This is definitely going to pull the alarm. Okay, that did not work as I thought it was going to. Why well, don't think we're going to get that car? The other levels were incredibly easy compared to this one. Okay, car number one, basically in place. And I lost the crane. Not to worry, I have a backup plan. It's just going to involve some careful boat maneuvers. But maybe it's really just been this easy all along. Okay, I've got 60 seconds as of right now to get both of these vehicles to the circle by the truck. That's not really a great start. I'm almost embarrassed as to how easy this was in the end, because all I had to do was go like that, and then like this. I clearly overthought that way much. I got upgraded to a novice. I have a new tool. I can't wait to see what we've got now. What is this thing? Shotgun? That sounds very good for demolition. Yeah, this is going to come in handy. Do I get to keep the truck now? This could be fun. 
This is just my warehouse, so I don't really think any of this really matters much, but I could have some fun with this truck. Well, somebody will probably clean that up. I'm gonna play with the truck that isn't stuck, because I've always wanted to drive through whatever this is. The shotgun can break metal, and I could never break metal before, so that's gonna open up some new possibilities for sure. My new mission, dump at least three of Gordon's expensive cars in the water. That I can do. Actually, I feel like I spent the last hour warming up for just this mission. I'm assuming this is Gordon's house. And I'm assuming, like any of Gordon's possessions, it's susceptible to gravity and momentum. We're gonna go around the guard box, because we go on a go in undetected. Gordon, I'm gonna come through you all now, hope you don't mind. There we go. Now we just gotta find his cars. Here's one of them now. We gotta figure out how to get that into the water somewhere. Okay, we're just gonna bring that car straight up through here and into the water there. But we gotta find the other cars too, and then we gotta design a route for how to efficiently do this. There's another one of his cars. Let's make sure the gate isn't gonna lock us in at any point. Well, actually, if I'm seeing this correctly, this one isn't gonna be that hard at all. Because we're gonna send Gordon car number one into the water as <laughs> the game legs pretty hard. Probably should have set up a car in between for the running part. But this is going to be car number two. We're going to send it the same direction. Luckily they're nice and fast so I could probably bail out like here and then start running for the next car because I've only got 30 seconds left and that's not really a lot of time. There's car number three and then I don't know how to get out of here. Probably should have scoped that out before committing to this. But like I always say, if you want to consider it planning, you're on the wrong channel. And well, we're at least going to get the cars in under 60 seconds. Are we? Get in the water. Whee! See, we did it. Now I've got one second to figure out how to get out of here. Was there water in the pool? It said the cars have to go in water. It didn't specify which water. Plus, there's probably going to be some valuables somewhere in the house like this. That thing looks expensive. What do we got here? $120 statue. And an elevator. I wonder if he's got a hidden safe room somewhere full of valuables. He probably does. It's just a matter of finding it. There's something hidden under his bed. Sleeping pills, only $25. And there's no water in the pool. Unless the hot tub counts. We're gonna find out if the hot tub counts. It does, interesting. And there's a pond up front that I never noticed. A vacuum cleaner, I've always wanted one of those. Oh, and these things are a lot of fun, but wildly dangerous, because if you turn too hard and run into a wall, they blow up. Anyways, I think I have the answer now. We're gonna take this car. And slowly get it out the door. Okay, I didn't expect it to be this slow. This might actually screw everything up. Okay, in fact, I'm just gonna restart. This time I'm gonna hit things with a little more momentum so we get straight out of there. Gotta try and make it all the way back to that little hot tub carefully because I need to fit two cars in there this time. Good enough for me. Okay, we'll go get the fast car. This maybe also could have been used for another position. There's two cars in the water, one more to go. This maybe is still a little bit too slow, but I think I've got the right idea now because we have about 12 seconds left to do this. Where was that pond? Somewhere in the front. Okay, that's going in there. All I gotta do is make it to the van. Denied. Oh no, it's right there. Uh, yep. Instead, we're gonna start with this car because I noticed it was a little bit slow compared to one of the other ones. It's still gonna go into the hot tub. The two cars are in. I brought this little car to just shuttle me over here a little extra quick because now I can just take this car right out the front. And we're gonna have time to spare for sure on this one. We're just gonna aim it straight towards the pond and let it go. That way I can just get straight into my van. I'm not gonna worry about the other three cars. Done. Do you think we could make that thing fall down? So far, it's resilient to my plan. What it doesn't know is that I brought a shotgun. Slowly gonna whittle away at anything holding it up. There we go. I like when the big stuff falls down. This is why I can't have nice things. What's the next mission? Looks like we're going back to the marina. Steal GPS devices from these boats and get the log files. Target number one is in there. What am I thinking? Walking like some regular person. This way I don't have to open any doors. Whatever it is, Appears to be over there, but in the room in between, apparently there's a valuable pirate dagger, $400. Oh good, more alarm wires. So if I pick it up and go through my hole, I can maybe take this boat over to here, grab whatever this one is, run to here, grab whatever this one is, and escape without worrying about whatever that is. I'm sure that boat's pretty fast, but we gotta take this small one for now. Oh, so we gotta take it off of this, but I think I can move this one. I sure can, so I'm just gonna bring it right up to where the other one is. Alarm number three is on this boat. I'm gonna see if I can move this boat just a little closer to land. You know what? I think this one's gonna be kind of easy overall. So let's see if we can do this. 60 seconds on the clock. Head for the speedboat, loop around to the other ones. Oh, this boat's fast. This is gonna be easy. Doesn't turn very good though. Okay, we're just gonna bring it up to about... 
good enough for me. The game's lagging pretty hard on that. Don't blame it. Oh, we're gonna have lots of time on this, so we're gonna take that. And then we're gonna take that, and then we're gonna drive this truck right back to the beginning and get out of here. In fact, we're going to go like that. Whoa, I didn't want to go with that. Anyways, we still have time to spare. 20 seconds left. Could have gone for an extra objective, but too much work. I got a new rank of trespasser and new tools. We now have a plank. Oh, primitive ramps. Oh, we can get to new places. Yeah, this could be fun. I can upgrade my tools at the terminal. Did I always have that option? I would have been making more money if I knew there was a point to it. Okay, I can upgrade my hammer and that's kind of my favorite. I think I'm going to upgrade my shotgun because I got a bit of money and it can really do some damage. And then probably just more ammo. The range hasn't been a problem yet. Plus with all this new damage, it really takes a bite out of things. I can put a pretty good size hole right through brick now. So now if I need a new door, all I've got to do is just make one. I'm going to make doors all over the place. And now onto Lee's chemicals. I've got to get the safe to my vehicle. Is this stuff flammable? It'd be great if I could just burn this out of the way. Luckily, I've got some other tools at my disposal, like this thing. See, we're gonna have a clear path straight to our boat before you know it. Just gotta get a little more of that fence and I'll feel pretty good about what we've done. And maybe a little bit of this fence too. So the thing I need is in here. Yeah, there's no more locked doors in my game, thanks. There is a valuable painting, 25 whole dollars, very valuable. So this is the safe I need to get way over there somehow. And believe it or not, I think I have a pretty decent idea of how to do this. Just gotta find the right tool for the job, which ironically I think I already had and ruined. Well, now that I've seen them, I'm gonna have to blow them up. Okay, so it's about that big. So I just need to make an opening about that big. Does your shotgun work very good for mulching stuff up into a drivable size? I think it might. Okay, now we just gotta kind of slide it in below the safe. Which might be right about there. Nope, we're close, just a little more. And now the truck is stuck, so we've got to pull it out with something else. I feel like the crane is always my rescue machine. It's just such a good multi-tool. Mostly just for grabbing the crap that I jam into places where they shouldn't be, though. So, gotcha. Now, come on out of there, little guy. We'll get you... Wrong thing. We'll get you reset in no time. Okay, I got the truck. I've got it out. And just in case I do end up needing to go this way for some reason, we're going to open the gate. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully with a little less... Actually, that might be perfect right there. Yep. I just hope I'm able to make a quick getaway from here because if I get stuck again, I'm boned. Okay, cleared out whatever that was out of the way. Let's see if we can drop the safe down into this thing. There we go. All I got to do is drive away now. The alarm's not even going to go off until I'm oh, well on my way out of here. There's the alarm, but I think we're pretty much free to cruise on out of here. Uh, we're not going to take my exciting route for the trees, because I feel like this way is going to be just as fast, but a little bit easier. A very simple smash and grab. I really like this game. I can see the potential of a lot of fun things we can do with it. There's your safe. And we're done with 30 seconds to spare. Only got one of the objectives, but that's okay. I got a little distracted once I got back to my uh, home base here, because I wanted to see if I could make this whole thing fall down. And at this point, there can't be a lot of stuff actually holding it up. Like, I've cut out basically the entire inner square. I think there's only one thing it's still connected to. And that's this guy right here. Okay, it just floats. Physics don't work here because I'm pretty sure there's nothing left holding that up. We can make sections of it fall though, so that's a start. I think it's whatever this square is. I can't seem to destroy it, so it seems to be holding things up. Never mind. I don't get it. Not that that's a big deal, it was mostly just a curiosity of mine to see if we could take apart our own building. Turns out you can. 